Hi, I like to share with you this recent experience that I had in the Grampians. It was a very unexpected situation where my surf life saving skills had been put to test, and it was called for that I had to literally deliver compression、um, CPR on somebody who lost consciousness. And lost his breathing, and so basically, what happened is、um, I checked in the hostel、uh, two nights ago in the evening, ready to go to bed, and then I hear there was noise in the hallway, and there were people crying for help, and it happened to be a few Japanese boys. They were knocking on our doors,、um, asking. Uh, whether we had phone, if we could、uh, call ambulance because、uh, somebody needed help. So I rushed upstairs to find that this other boy in his early twenties lying on the floor,、uh, and his body was、uh, basically in a spasm. You can see it was、uh, something like that, basically, and.、Um, He wasn't responding to any questions. He was breathing by the time I was there, but very soon the breathing stopped, and the spasm and his convulsion, his body just stopped moving, and he was just lying flat.、Uh, nothing was moving, chest not moving, no breath, nothing. And at this stage, this is where. Um, the skills that I have learned at Bondi Surf Life Saving、um, Club it just came out as a second nature almost,、um, and this is where I really appreciate, really grateful that I I was you know equipped with the knowledge that I had、uh, to be able to deal with this particular situation,、um, because immediately I knew that compression has to be started to help. His blood going through his、uh, his body and you know to to deliver oxygen to his vital organs,、um, and to keep him alive basically.、Uh, whilst there are people on the phone with the ambulance, we still have to keep、uh, the compression going. And this is where I just、uh, immediately started this、uh, you know this CPR cycle. Um, you know, by the time I count to about twelve or fifteen,、uh, you can see he started、uh, breathing again, and his body start slowly moving again. And this is when, you know, we kind of turn him on his sideways and checked his、uh, breaths,、uh, continue breathing for a while, and then he lost it again, and we started compression again. And this went on for a couple of times before the ambulance. Uh, eventually got there. The, the paramedics got there. By the time the paramedics got there, they've、um, measured the blood、uh, blood oxygen level、uh, for this、uh, boy, and the the reading came out、uh, was okay, and、um, and I felt like such a big relief in the situation that you know this、um, whatever、uh, was performed the CPR. On on him during this time of unconsciousness and non-breathing,、uh, gave him like this vital supply of oxygen in his body that he needed, and I hope、uh, you know there's no permanent or worse damage other than you know he had this really bad episode of seizure. Seizure probably wasn't epileptic because he doesn't have this uh, history. Uh, I don't know what it was, but、um, All I know is the、uh, the life saving skills, the first aid skills that I was taught,、um, became of good use at a critical situation. And this is far away from the water. I was two hundred kilometers, three hundred kilometers away from the beach, where I was expected to to use all these skills. Now, the reason I like to share this、uh, particular episode is that. Um, I like to let the message out there. Whatever,、um, like you know, whoever or wherever you are in the world, 
uh, if you see this video, think about taking up a first aid course, or better still, sign up to a volunteer organization where you can contribute your skills to save lives, such as a surf life saving club in your local area, or uh, the local paramedics, uh, such as St. John's Ambulance, or uh, your Red Cross organization. There are many organizations out there that need, you know, first aid, uh, you know, expertise, and your time and your skill can help others in critical situations, expected situations, unexpected situations such as this. And um, if you don't have time, send your children um, to an organization to learn the skills and they will be forever grateful that they acquire this skill. So go and do it. And I look forward to this um, the season starting. Actually, the season has started. And so I'm looking forward to get back on the beach, doing some patrol, um, another great, sesh, uh, great season on Bondi. So see you out there. Bye.